Thank you very much, Gunrunners. Awesome. Okay, guys, we are now seriously well armed. We're going to go off and do... Yeah, we are. We're going to go off and check your caravan now, which I believe is in that direction. Um, oh. You know what? I have a quest to go and steal the Gunrunners' secrets, don't I? Do you think that would seem a little ungrateful? Yippee! There'll be no and we're back here outside the Gunrunners, playing with our new toys. <laughs> Been messing around, trying different mod settings, using different ammo, just generally having a little fun with guns. Although it did occur to me that I've spent pretty much the longest time saving up money to buy this super rifle, only to realize that by the time I earned enough money to get it, I actually had weapons that were almost as good. Not quite as good, but certainly compatible. And seeing as most of the weapons I own now will kill uh, a person in one shot, as they should, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a small hurdle, it's a small victory I have achieved getting this weapon, but in actual fact, I'm not 100% sure how much it's going to change. But I like it nonetheless. Um, mod talk quickly. I have installed a mod called Reload, and it changes the way this game handles reloading. And to show you, I have loaded a single bullet in my lucky pistol, in my 357. You'll notice I've got one in the chamber and two on my person. I'm changed to the shotgun and then change back to the pistol and you'll notice it's still only got one bullet in the pistol itself. Whereas before it would have had three, it would have loaded it as fully as it could. More importantly, when I shoot the pistol now and it is empty, nothing happens. See, it's not automatically reloading and will not do so until I do it manually. And if you're wondering what the advantage of that is, well, one of the things that's been annoying me non-stop is I'll be in combat, I'll be shooting with my shotgun, I'll fire off the five shots, and then I'll be reloading for five seconds. Whereas what I would prefer to do is you know, let off the five shots and then quickly change to the pistol. I mean, I've got fast draw. I'd like to just be able to go, you know, wham, and carry on shooting. Now, there's the disadvantage, obviously, is I have to manually reload, so I can't just sort of change weapons, chain, uh, shoot off bullets, change weapons, shoot off bullets, and keep alternating. But I think it's more realistic, and it will stop those annoying moments where I'm shooting at someone, and then I turn around to try and activate a door to run away, and I can't, because I'm reloading for the next hour and a half. Right. Anyway, we are here outside the Gunrunners, and um, one of the tasks I've got is to um, infiltrate the Gunrunners. And I'm going to do that while we're here. And then, after we've done that, I'm actually going to run off to the, um, to the clinic to see if they've got any, um, um, any implants, because I've now got tons of money, and I've bought the, the weapons I want. I mean, I'm going to keep my eyes out for mods and stuff, but... I've actually got all of that. Right, there's a guard there. I've actually got all of the weapons I really need now. First things first. Oh yeah. Okay. One off. Now, hopefully, this person will not see me. I am in fact stealth. I would I would prefer it if they walked away and stopped looking though. Let's have a look. My stealth boys ring out. Okay. Nice. Now I'm not to get caught. Alright. That is what the lady asked. She said, do not get caught. Take that. I've got one more stealth boy. And we're looking for... What the hell are we looking for? We're looking for some plans. 
quests. You can depend on me. Acquire the Golden Runner's secret manufacturing specifications from their factory. Right. So. Okay, got a bunch of people over there. Okay, upstairs, no. We have a guard. This does not look like they're manufacturing. Neither does that. Although, you know what? Oh! Empty. Stealth boy's not going to last much longer. I'm pretty stealthy anyway, to be honest. But I thought I'd make sure with a stealth boy. Of course, that's the downside of Stealth Boys. Alright, so this is the workshop. Of course it is. Um, I've got one more Stealth Boy. Maybe I should have brought more. Gunrunner's Terminal. Download manufacturing specifications. Will do. Vendatron naming. Okay. Seriously, can we stop calling the Vendatron a Vendatron? Let's give it give the thing a proper name, like Bob. We're not calling it Bob. We'll vote on it at the end of the week. Please, please, please come up with something decent. Okay. Camp McCadden Order 172. Missile launches seven missiles at 200. We'd like this order expediated if possible. The situation at the dam requires it. Persona non grata. One of the Crimson Caravan guards identified as Robert Wilson decided it would be funny to take a shot at our Vendatron. He's lucky he didn't get a uh, .308 through his idiot skull. We're currently negotiating with McClafferty for reparations, but in the meantime, we need to update the Vendatron's recognition software to filter out all Crimson Caravan employees. We also need to pull some strings over at McCarran and get them to temp temp get them temporarily barred from purchasing ammo there as well. Okay. Oh, was there anything else? No. Okay, as much as I'd like to see if there's anything else to take, I think that is mission accomplished. How much time we got? We got loads of time on the stealth boy. Nice. All right. See that? I am a ghost. <laughs> Alright, we do actually have one other task to do for her. Maybe we should do that very quickly and then go and see her and take her back. We have got... Convince Henry Jameson to quit his position at the Crimson Caravan Company, which is not too far away. It's... Yeah, we need to go through Freeside. He's in Freeside somewhere. We could do that. But I also want to very, very quickly go off and check the clinic to see what sort of implants they've got. The clinic's miles away. We'll do the clinic later. Yes, we will. Where was the gate? Is it there? Okay. Um, no! It's going through this. Right, come on. We'll go through this gate. Oh. No. Follow. Follow me. Please. One. Two. Excellent. Right. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a caravan. Okay, let's go find that guy. Okay. All right, we've come in the Mick and Ralph entrance. Oh! No! God. <sighs> that sound terrifies me. Um, yeah, I thought I was coming in the other entrance. That caught me a bit off guard. Fair enough. Okay. Let's 
getting a little dark in it. Seriously, I told you. Pool cue. Dude, look at us. I mean, how desperate do you have to be? You know what? If you're that desperate, you could have said, Excuse me, could I just have a hundred caps? I'm desperate enough to die for it. Kids. Is that the kid chasing the rat again? I don't know, I suppose he's hungry again. I don't think that's the one I need to... Oh, all those kids have come back. We should keep our eyes open for those kids. It can be bought. It can be... All right. It can be... Yeah. The the kids that have probably got the rangefinder. Hi. Because I How want that today? super weapon. Right. Data. Local map. Atomic Wrangler. That's where we're going to find this gentleman. Want to get lucky? Head no, on thanks. down to the Atomic Wrangler. Oh. Okay, well then, yes, I do in fact want to get lucky. The Atomic Wrangler. We've not actually been in here. Hello there. Hello, Atomic Wrangler Guard. Hello. Oh, Francine Garrett. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Um, I'm looking... No, I'm not. What goods and services do you have to offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. Um, yeah, if you'd sure. like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, I'd like to see what you have on tap. Go on, then. Caps curiosity. up front. We don't do tabs here. Yes, we've established that. You have whiskey. You know what? I don't mind picking up a few extra bottles of whiskey uh, while I'm here. Do I have anything useless to sell to you is the big question. Well, the answer is not really, actually. So I'll tell you what, I will just take the whiskey. I have come into a little bit of money, so I don't mind. Give me um, a shot else? if you need anything else. I'm looking for a little rest. Am I? Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. Oh, is that what we're talking about? Prostitutes here no, aren't you. slaves. They decide who they service. That's okay, I'm... You best make a good first impression if you want what they have to offer. I don't. Rooms are just much. a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine, thank you very much. Um, do you have any work done? Hey, hello. I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Okay, people should always pay their bills. That is definitely... Well, I have to shoot anyone because I really... I don't... That sounds good as long as I don't need to kill anyone. What kind of caps are we talking about? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would 50. add up to 150 caps if you bring them all. Is that it? 150 ca Barter. This kind of work... Co oh, look at this. I am a barter monster. All right. 50-50 it is. That's still only 300 you caps. you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. I'll kill him. Um, okay, that sounds... L no, you've got yourself a deal. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Got it. Lit Grex? Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. Right. Crack jokes he about his lazy eye. He has 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. Okay. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. All right. Santiago. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Okay. That's all for now. Anything else you need? I don't know. Do you have anything else? Nope. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. So we got another job. Why not? Yep. James Garrett. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Oh, do you have stuff for sale? Okay. Do you have anything for sure. sale? Take a look. Is it whiskey? No, you don't actually have whiskey. How odd. Never mind. How's business? 
We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. Uh, do you have any work you need done? We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. Okay. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay your finder's fees. All right, I, I can probably do that. What sort of proclivity? Our wealthiest I'm going to say that again. has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. Ghouls and cowboys. It's an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Uh, Plenty of customers ghoul. have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Uh, well, no. those creeps want a sex bot. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Alright, I'll see if I run across... I expect a hundred caps minimum for each candidate I bring. Um, okay. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, but I need more than that to recoup travel expenses. <laughs> okay, yeah. you got yourself a deal. Find oh. escorts to fill the positions and I'll pay double. Yes! I'll see if I run across any Just suitable direct them to the candidates. Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. Okay, I could use some help with my reputation in Freeside, could I? For the right caps, I might be able to put in a good word and let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do, do people think I'm a bad guy? I'm not a bad guy. I need people to forget about some things I've done. No, I don't. I've not done anything bad, have I? Have I done anything bad in Freeside? I'm pretty sure I. I want people to like me, because it's right. useful. I can chat you up, but it's going to cost you. I'm not risking my reputation around here for nothing. Me? I got caps. Woo. It's a lot of money. But you know what? A thousand caps. I'm a damn beacon of morality here. People should be lining up to shake my hands. Great. This is going to require an epic tale of heroism. I like it. I've got it. I'll say you slew a nest of death claws living in the sewers. It was bloody work, but you I waded mean, through the pack like close, a man actually. possessed. Just to make this clear, I can only spin a whopper this big once. There's only so much people will believe before they see through the bullshit. All right. Okay. Brilliant. Freeside fame gained. Freeside loves me. I am the death claw slayer. I like it. Any idea where I could look for a sex bot? The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. All right. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, I should check them for weapons now that I have money. Later. Okay. Light, enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. Excellent. People like me, guys. They like me. All right, I paid for it. Who are you? Are you the person I'm looking Evening. for? Henry Jameson, you are the person Shove I'm looking off. for. You're making my luck turn bad. I think I'm going to hit you very hard. I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Okay. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Don't know, don't care. Speech. Um... Yeah, I'm not very good at that, am I? I'll go talk to the Omertas. <laughs> okay. Maybe you can make a deal. What do you want from the Crimson Caravan in exchange for quitting? What brought you to New Vegas? What do you know about the Omertas? One of the families that runs the Strip. They're a pack of cheaters, but you still don't want to fuck with them. All right. What brought you to New Vegas? I wanted to be where the action is. So I got my dad to pull some strings and get me a cushy position with the Crimson Caravan. Why don't I Everything have... was great until McLafferty came along. That old bitch is going to hear about it from my dad. Just you wait. Why don't I have an option to literally pull out my gun, stick it to his head, and say, here's an off you can't refuse type thing? Maybe we can make a deal. What do you want from the Crimson Caravan in exchange for I want quitting? my debt with the Omertas paid oh, off. Oh, God. And I want one of those severance package things. A yeah, big one. Um, the better deal would be me for me to walk away and let the Omertas deal with you. I like it. Fine, whatever. Forget the severance. Just get the Omertas off my back and you can tell McLafferty she won't see my face again. All right. Excellent. Uh, this barter skill is turning out to be ridiculously useful. Hello? Atomic hello Ranger Guard. Hadrian. Hello, Hadrian. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Um, excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. 
Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. No. Okay, so who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that fame is fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Absolutely. Name's Adrian. That. It's the shade. You never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, um, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. What? Not the wor- <sighs> So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? I... Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with mm. the management. Mm. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Yeah, rub it in. Go on. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. All right, well then don't be so insulting. Yeah, go on. Scram. Sorry. Force of habit. Right, okay, so we have got everything done for McLafferty. It's really as dark, isn't it? Gonna need a torch. All right, so let's go and see McLafferty, give her the good news. And, stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the and then after that, you know what? Then let's get a night's sleep. And then we're gonna go to the medical place, get some implants. Oh, and Mick and Ralph. We've got Mick and Ralph. We're not even guns, allowed to sell weapons. People. Only at Mick and Ralph's. It's just. Just. just mm, mm. Okay. Weapons. And then after all of that, we're going to go off and find your other caravan. I promise. I promise, Cass. We are going to do it. Found you. Got one. What? Seriously? I'm going to stop wasting bullets on you guys. I really am. I think I'm just going to... Okay. Roving trader hat. Barter plus five. Yes. I shall wear my roving trader hat when I go in to, to talk to people. Because 80 barter is just not good enough. Um, no, thank you. Oh, and we can talk about um, sex bots while we're there. You know, sort of conversation that comes up all the time, isn't it? Right, so... Ralph! Playing debt collector for the Garrets, huh? I guess someone has to do their dirty work. Whoa, you heard about that already? Would you happen to know where I could find a sex bot? It's not for me. <laughs> are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? No, like I said, not for me. The Garrets are looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. But that place has been overrun by vermin for years. Okay. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Okay. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Is there a holotape or anything I need for the sex bot? I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Uh, but data modules are rare but generally useless. How about a hundred caps for your work? <laughs> All right. Come back in a couple days. But I'm only going to get 200 caps back. Is the holiday ready? Is it ready yet? Not yet. Come back later and it should be ready to go. Okay. Thanks for... I feel like asking him again just to be annoying. Right, okay. Guns, 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 guns. I heard about some things you've done around town. Okay. Nice to know someone is helping out for a change. You have problems with your eyes? I'd like to special... Uh, I'd like to special your browse inventory. I'd like to browse your special inventory. Follow me. I will do so. Your eyes were a bit freaky. See, like I always time, say, I would have been a polite society is an armed society. Yeah, we've had this discussion and it annoys me. Stop it. Right, let's see what you've got. Embrace the Mantis King. No, we don't want that. Um, was there any specials? The Little Devil. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> 20,000, but it's a 12 millimeter pistol with DPS out the yin yang. 58 damage. It is unfortunately, it's not a, it's not a pistol, it's not a revolver, is it? So I don't get any bonus. But 58 is pretty damned huge anyway. Whew. Tempted. Very, very, very tempted. Is that it? Is that the. 
Was there nothing else? Oh, uh, well, I am... Okay. I am giving serious thought to taking this weapon anyway. 12.7 millimeter bullets. That's a pretty damned big. We'll think about it. We will think about it. Do you have anything else? Desperado cowboy hat. Oh, cowboy. Desperado. Tell you what. We'll take one. Do you have anything else? We're looking for looking for a more of a cowboy outfit. Nope. All right, let's see what rounds you have. 12 millimeter. Oh, you got a lot of the uh, 12.7 millimeters. That's good because if I buy that weapon, I'm probably going to need to buy a lot of those rounds. Okay, um, I will take the hat. It's a long story. Gas! Come here. <clears throat> Just want to say. Let's deal. Yeah, right. Um, Desperado cowboy hat. Cassie's hat gives plus one. They, they get the same. Let's, let's have a look how you look. Let's see how you look. I'm having... Oops. Eh. I mean, eh. Eh. No. Let's distribute the weight. Yeah. I it's just... Nah. I think, on the whole... Oh, you like that hat. You sure? All right, if you like it, if you like it, you can keep it. That's, that's, yay, no accounting for taste. Now, where was that electronics thing that, uh, oh, I'm having massive delay here. What's going on? Oh, no, I'm not having massive delay. It just will not follow my mouse. That's annoying. You can depend on me, Wang Dang Atomic Dango. Recruit a sex, but you know what? We'll do it. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king uh, says be. to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Who the hell's the king? Food, grilled mantis added. Say thank you. It's not poisoned, is it? I'll not be impressed. Right. Okay, so go see McClafferty. Let's go see McClafferty, then go get a night's sleep, and then go and um, get some implants. Hello. Unless we want to save the money for the gun. <gasps> Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, so we're... Is that... That's her, that's you. Hello, Alice McClafferty. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I have the Gunrunner holotape. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. Of course. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. All right. The Crimson Caravan Company no longer has to worry about Henry, Henry Jameson. Yes, I heard. I believe we're now responsible for paying off his gambling debts, but that you bargained him down from a more outrageous demand. Yes, I did. Well done. I'm very pleased to be rid of that man. Cassidy Caravans has been bought out and is now part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. All right. Is there anything else you need me to do? Something has actually come up. Okay. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Oh, Go there. Locate plant. the bottle cap press and disable it. Okay. I had some questions about the bottle cap currency. What would you like to know? Can I use it to make lots of bottle caps? Why is a bottle cap press a problem for you, he says? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Are new bottle caps ever made? Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. Oh, we idea. make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Okay. What makes a bottle cap genuine? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. 
Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. All right. Okay. Let's talk about something else. All right. Else. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I believe that's all. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Now let's just check whether... Don't worry, I'm not going to get distracted, Cass. I'm not. I just want to quickly check. Pressing math. Is that what it is, then? The Sunset Sasparilla Headquarters. It's, it's vaguely in the direction we're going to be going in anyway. So we can go there eventually. But for now, yes, we are in fact going off to find... Uh, not a sex bot. Not those. Return to Paul one last time. That eventually... This one. Heartache by the number. <coughs> and... Oh, we need a night's sleep. We do need a night's sleep. Do you think we can steal a bed? Borrow a bed? Yes, we can, because we're an employee now. All right, let's have some sleep. Get up in the morning and be on our way. We'll get up nice and early.